Okay. So I, I gotta be quick. I'm not late, but you know when you go to a new doctor, they want you to come like 50 hours early. <laughs> so this is my first time going to the neurologist and I, I need to go, okay? Um, for multiple reasons. One, when I had COVID back in 2020, it was like November of 2020, um, I got like all of like the symptoms where it, it affected like my lungs, it affected my heart, um, it affected um, like I was always fatigued and um, I had headaches and I had a brain clock. So it still affects like my lungs and it's still um like see and it still affects like me being like the brain fog um and like when i tell y'all i i space out i lose like my train of thought really easy and it's never been like that before um like i can be like in the middle middle of the uh, sentence and i'm like what was we talking about or uh, whatever um and then uh i work on computers for eight hours a day and that when that pain like typically it is like a headache that i would get but it was like a headache a slight slight headache and i could like take a tylenol and i'll be good or i put my glasses on and i'll be good or i can just like take my 15 minute break and i'll be good but now it's like no matter if i take a break take tylenol nothing helps and it's like a, a hammer i'm gonna try to bring y'all in um like sneak and record y'all or whatever um but um hopefully this doctor because i went to a rheumatologist and when i tell y'all he was pointless he literally looked at me and was like yeah i don't think you have lupus i just think you have vitiligo on your skin or whatever and so he didn't like he pulled up my charts and he was just like yeah i know it's showing lupus but i think it's just uh vitiligo so <laughs> hopefully and that was a waste of 80 dollars. my copay is 80 dollars uh for a specialist and so um hopefully this doctor don't look at me and be like you don't look like you get headaches you you look like you cool so i'm about to go in <laughs> so um yeah i'm gonna bring y'all with me um yeah Let, let's go i'm wearing my mask i know a lot of places out in indy are saying no mask but they literally just had yesterday um 2000 confirmed cases or something like that and like seven people died yesterday from covid covid so i'm gonna roar my mask wear your mask wear your mask okay we gotta go y'all i couldn't record because they have a um they have a strict no phone policy so i can record um no phones no camera policy but y'all when i tell y'all i damn near cried i damn near cried i cried y'all well i didn't cry i almost cried like i had to <laughs> i had to co compose myself so i walked in the i walked in the room when i tell you when i tell you everybody was nice like from like the front desk workers can y'all see me from right there and it was like not like i don't okay i don't know how to explain it right like duh they're gonna be nice but you know sometimes when you go to doctor's office like they just be there just to work like get you in get you out they don't have any like rapport with you like anything like they they just there to check you in there to check you out that's it but they they was just nice or whatever and um my one of the front desk workers he was like a black male that was like cool but then i was in my when i got to the room i was super discouraged because i told i told my primary care physician i was just like i really only want to deal with like people of color like like for, like the main black people but people of color like i want my health team to you know look like me or have you know understand me and so i was referred to them 
two years ago or three no three years ago i was referred to them but it was like their other doctor and i did not want to go because when i looked up his picture he was white and i was just like i ain't got time he probably gonna tell me ain't nothing wrong with me i ain't got time i'm not about to waste my money and so i literally was about to like i was salty when i walked in the room i was so salty at my doctor because they had a, a picture of this white family on the on the desk and i was just like i told in my head i'm like i told her i do not want to deal with no more white doctors i definitely don't want to deal with no more white male doctors like oh i was i was like huh and then when he knocked on the door i had like i didn't even gotta lie i had like a little attitude i was just like yeah or whatever and he walked in he was like hi miss lipscomb and like but he he was african because or i'm not gonna say he was african he was something because he had an accent so he was either african haitian you know he was something he had like a he had an accent and so let me stop and get some gas and so when i heard his accent i looked up and then i see him on my side she listened to me she fucking listened to me and so he was black and i mean black black like i fucking love that and um so he was in there it was fast but uh, and so i just i just love that so i have to do a ek ekg he showed me a picture and like the lady was like shaved bald he was just like but we don't have to shave your head though he was just like just wear your hair like low so i'm i'll probably like i'll probably like braid my hair down or something because he said that it's best like to have it low or something like that um but i was just like and then he commented on my bag he was like oh your bag is nice he was just like nice tell far back he was like my my life my wife will love that one and that was just like yes you better know that just made me happy and like the little girl in me like the grown woman in me that dealt with like a white physician that like i don't know if i ever told y'all this but like all that to say my heart is happy <laughs> let me get some gas let me get some gas y'all why uh -uh, move. <laughs> <laughs> look at the fish braids we are at the boys going away party they're leaving us look at axel rolling around in the grass <laughs> why you being me Love it. Fix your attitude. Him so handsome. I just love him. This my baby. Say Derek, my daddy. Say one, two, three. Derek. <laughs> Shut up. Say cheese. Cheese. Act like you want to take a picture. Say so see y'all next, whatever. I mean, Ma'am. <laughs> y'all look at my salmon. I came in the house and they was a little rude. Oh, that especially red. her. Let me get her on camera. Her right there. Her. She was rude. She was a little disrespectful. I was. I was. You brought in six pieces. I bought six pieces. Twelve people. <laughs> Is it twelve people really here? I mean, yeah. It's twelve people here. I don't know. It's like, two, like ten. Four, five. It's three of me. Six, seven. Right. It's three. So what is it? Really? Seven. Three on her side. Three on no, her so side. No, it's 13 it people right here. There. It's nine people. It's 13 people too. I finally got to get on somebody's patio this summer. The summer ain't even started. I'm about to just pull up on her house and just sit on her patio. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, yeah, she ain't got a gate. At all. Just walk back here. Text her and be like, I'm outside. I'm gonna start taking calls out here. <laughs> Me and Axel just gonna be chilling. Ooh. Hot sauce. I really cut myself. Cooking they uh fish. I was about to say chicken. I ain't cooking no chicken. 
Even though you was like, chicken is found bomb. It, Cause I thought she was off we something to hit it. And how did you cook it, Brianna? I put it, I put my, my salmon in the air fry. Yeah, yeah. I got it off of TikTok. She knows when you're eating. She up. Uh oh. Hey, wait. Oh. She up already? Mm -hmm. Oh, gang gang. <laughs> Get in your brie brie vlog. Hey. <laughs> She's smacking off of the uh, food. Look, 